This is David Danforth, your instructor for Digital Mission 1, Introduction to Photoshop CC 2015. What I need you guys to do, first things first, is get the book. If you haven't already gotten it, this is what the cover of the book should look like. And once you get the book, go over the syllabus. Uh, this is my contact information. Uh, I am here on campus. I think I'm only... I'm, I have to leave this week to go to Houston and to Colorado, both for uh, business. So uh, I'll still be checking email while I'm up there. Uh, but after that, uh, I'm on campus at Eastfield in Office L117. Actually, I'm in L113. This is our lab. But I'm right across the hall, so feel free to drop by. Uh, best way, though, email me. I respond really quick to the email. So this is what your book looks like and I would order that really quickly because you have two lessons to do this week. Um, you can go to Peach Pit and if you want to just get the digital version of the book uh, then you have instant access to it instead of waiting for it to come in the mail. Uh, once you get your book uh, you're going to go to this link right here which is your re how to redeem your code. The code is in the back of the book or if you have an ebook it's the very first part of the book. It's a bunch of digits and letters so just go ahead and punch that in once you get into that one and it'll take you to your lesson files. You can see I have lots of different lesson files because I teach lots of different classes. But these are the ones you're going to get. Now you can download this on a Mac. You just right click and or on a PC and save link as. So if you want to just go ahead and knock it all out, start it. I mean it's 663 megs so it's a pretty big file. Um, or you can do them individually okay that's up to you so uh, what I usually do is just download everything at once have it on a flash drive or have it somewhere on the desktop but that's how you get to those so go back to the syllabus um, you can read through this on your own it has all the objectives outcomes that kind of stuff uh, the grading system you see you're doing chapters 1 through 15 they're each worth 10 points uh, you're going to have four projects, each, each worth uh, 100 points. And then you're going to have two pen tool practice, which is 25, and discussion board, 10 points. Okay? want to make sure you guys know right here that the lessons will not be accepted after the due date. Uh, no exceptions. They're just a zero, so don't ask. Uh, they're only worth 10 points, though. So if you miss a couple, it's not going to ruin your grade. What's really important are these projects. Each one of those is worth 100 points. So if you do the math, you miss one project, it's almost as much as missing all the chapter assignments. So if you miss a project, that'll take you down a letter grade. You miss two projects, you probably won't pass the class. So projects, very important. So we'll spend a lot of time on those projects. Lessons you can knock out in about an hour or so. They're not that hard to do, okay? I uh, don't really have an attendance policy since this is online. Okay, uh, withdrawal date is July 26, 2016. Uh, let me know if, before you withdraw. I might be able to help you out, uh, but it's better to withdraw than fail the course. <clears throat> you have to forgive me. My allergies are really bugging me today. But so read through the syllabus, weekly lessons. If you click on that. You'll see the first thing I want you guys to do is to go to the discussion board. All right. In order to do that, you click on discussions. So the, here's the first week of class. You can just click on it. And you just create a thread. And you just type in here, hi, I'm Dave. And just tell a little, bit, a little bit about yourself, why you're in the class. And then you hit submit. Pretty easy. So I'll cancel that out. Back to weekly lessons. Okay, it's like, well, when does it do, Dave? Well, if you click on week one, right here, just click on it, you'll see the due date. It's worth 20 points because it's two chapters and it's 10 p.m. Everything in this class is due on Sundays except for the final project that's due on the last day of class. So you can just read through and all this kind of stuff. When you get done with your lesson, uh, you're going to save it as a Photoshop file and then you just browse my computer. It's kind of like just sending an email attachment 
Uh, so make sure you just have a folder with all of your lessons in it. Uh, browse my computer, select it, submit it. That's all you have to do. So let me show you that again. Weekly lessons. Click on week one. Now since you're doing two chapters, if you want to zip both of the chapters, uh, if you don't know how to zip a file, go to Google, put in zip file and it'll explain it all to you. I'm sure most of you guys know how to zip a file. Uh, you can do it that way too. So you're just basically uploading one thing. So if you're in Photoshop, so I'm going to launch Photoshop real quick. Uh, here's a web page I'm uh, doing kind of a dummy for. So when I go to f save this, I go file, save as. And it's automatically like that. So one of my students did a Trump little icon. You can go to your, like your desktop, create a new folder. Like you'd say, okay, new folder, uh, dig one summer 2016 and you hit create. I like to be kind of organized. So in this one, I do a new folder and I call this weekly lessons and I'd hit okay. And I would just save it. See, it wants you to save it as a Photoshop file. Don't change it to something else. You never want to do a JPEG. So once you do a JPEG, it flattens it and it pretty much ruins the whole purpose of using Photoshop and having layers. So, it really wants you to save as a PSD. If you save it anything as a JPEG or anything like that, it's a zero. Okay, so I just hit save. So I'm just save that. Fine, there we go. I'm going to go back into a lesson file. Remember, I clicked on week one, browse my computer, desktop. Digital Me Juan, the lessons, double click, look, there it is. And I would hit submit. Then I as an instructor can open it and grade it. You're gonna do that with your semester projects too. So what I would do is just kind of go through and you realize it goes pretty fast. You have see, I gave you guys a break on lesson eleven for week seven, you only have one. So go through, start on those lessons. I encourage all of you guys to uh, go ahead, try to knock out those lessons as fast as possible, and then work on your semester projects. <coughs> Excuse me. Your first project, if you click on project one, same thing as a weekly lesson. That is due, due June 19th. There's a couple videos I made. Watch those, okay? So just kind of look at those. And here's a kind of a template. It's a two by 3.5. Uh, if you want to use it, I know you're like, it's a JPEG, Dave. Okay, that's, there's a lesson there. You can save as, open in Photoshop, create your business card, and then save it as a PSD. If you just click on it, it's going to open up a web page. It's kind of annoying. So right click, save it, open in Photoshop. Or if you just want to create a new document, 2 by 3.5, that's pretty easy to do in Photoshop. New 2 tab. Now I want the height to be 2. The width 3.5. Go ahead and do this one kind of low res. You can do it to 72 just so it's not a huge file. And you hit OK. And look, you have a business card. Oh, it's so tiny. That's okay. You can make it bigger. All right, and then design it. Save it as a PSD. We're all good. All right. So go back to semester projects. Kind of look at what we're going to do this semester. Project two, little art collage. I'll let you do some free design on that one. Um, so that one's kind of fun. Right, on this project two, uh, make sure that it has seven layers named, organized, has adjustment layers, that kind of stuff. Uh, you can take your own photographs for it or use high, uh, high resolution web images, that's fine. Uh, has to contain at least three photographs. Be really crazy 
have some fun. Uh, remember on this business card though, um, no images. Okay, I don't want you to use any images whatsoever. No photos. Okay, you can use a lot of cool tools in Photoshop, that, but no photos. No one likes photos on business cards. Third project, old school album cover. There's a tutorial on how to do that. These PDF files right here, you open these in Photoshop and those are your templates. And then the final project is the web page. And that's due August 11th, so that's not a Sunday, it's but the last day of school. And if you, whoops, if you click on project four, you'll see the due date, okay? And so a couple links that you can go to, okay? So this is, uh, this is the fun one. That one's pretty fun. Okay, when you get ready to do the semester project, there's a little tab over here with website project. On that one, you'll see a zipped file. It's 31 megs, but it's a fully designed um, web page in Photoshop with layers and everything, uh, use that as your source and kind of um, as a really good example of a responsive website design and then just design something uh, for yourself using that as a template. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, send me an email and um, hope to have a good semester with you. Thanks.